You're back once again for another week of the Unbreakable Glass Podcast. podcast. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We in this thing. Yeah, yeah we, we got it that time. Oh, we, got we got it that time, boy. That practice, that work. You know who they got on here though, though? Huh? Who they got on there, boy? Yes, sir. Your boy Quavo. Hey, yeah. I'm in here. Yeah, we in this thing, baby. Quavo and Rico, hey, that's nice right there on the screen right there. Y'all saw it. Hey, put it up there one more, one more time, time for the people in the back. For the people in the back. For the people, for the in, the people in the back. Late. Here yeah, we go. for the people in the back. We got to tell them who they rocking with again. Uh, uh, uh. Quavo and yeah. Rico is yes, the Unbreakable uh, Glass podcast. podcast. You know yeah, what I'm saying? This thing. Yes, sir. Rico, you got some yeah. shout outs, man. Yeah, shout outs, man. Look, big shout out. You already know how we got to do it, man. Big shout out to Isaac Smith in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you know, Journey of Life um, Network. If y'all out in the A, holla at him for Journey of Night. I mean, Journey of Life Network. All the members of the Rico Glass group. Big shout out to Cassie. Big shout out to Christy. Big shout out to Cola. Yes, sir. Big shout out to Quavo. Look, we're going build. to Yeah, man, my bad for the stencil. Shout out then. Shout out to Rion Young for the outstanding podcast yes, sir. last week. Yes, sir. And last but not least, I want to shout out at the top podcast all the way in Chattanooga, Tennessee for showing major love. Hey, Tennessee in the do. building, baby. Chattanooga, Tennessee, baby. We yeah, started what them volunteers thing. gonna do? Yeah, with the who? Them volunteers. They'll do what? Oh, they volunteer to lose. Oh, <laughs> my bad. My bad to all y'all volunteers out there. He already on it. Ooh, okay. My bad. Me sorry. What about yeah. you, bro? You yes, got sir, shout out? man. Absolutely, absolutely. One time for Linda's creation for these shirts. Okay. Hey, yeah. You know, we had the white lad time. You know, she done came through with the black shirt. Oh, black. With the design day. on that thing. So, Linda, yeah. hey, we appreciate you, baby. Linda's yeah, creation. Yeah. Tell you what, Rico, hey, we actually have a sponsor what? this week. What you what? say? What? We Move got a what? Yeah. Now, y'all know I can't dance, but I'm going to hey, do that's what I can up. do. We actually have a sponsor this week, y'all. This week's show is sponsored by Wine for Winers. Oh, Wine for Winers. Wine for Winers. You get your custom wine glasses, your coffee mugs, barware, hey, what have you. You know what I'm saying? Wineforwiners.com. Read this here. Wine for Winers is an online barware boutique. It began as a blog where about life Love, friendships, and the plights of tri- and triumphs, I'm sorry, of the overall human experience. Tell Catherine, don't put all this stuff up. <laughs> back-to-back words like this. There's some tongue twists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Wine for Winers, it then evolved into an online barware boutique mm-hmm. where people all over the world can declare cheers to life. Cheers to life. As we overcome the trials and enjoy the milestones of life. Visit uh, www dot wine for winers dot com and cheers to you one time for wine for winers dot yeah, com one time for them yeah one time wine now, for winers dot com hey they said now pull up hit them up That's yeah right. let's get it baby that's right yeah all right Rico we gonna move on along man okay. what you got going man well you know what we have an interesting topic today really yes a very interesting topic here's the thing man you see majority especially coming up now you see a lot of people struggle with landing their job that's right you see a lot of people who say well they go into it the mindset i need to make some money that's right how many times have they asked the question what can i do for this company right right so guess what folks today we gonna discuss how to land the The job. job that's right how to land a job and guess what? You know what's so amazing about that, Quay? What's amazing about it, Guess brother? what's so amazing about us talking about how to land a job? What's that? We have a, a, hold up, a, and, I got my bio mixed up. We have an expert, okay? A, and, and I'm trying not to laugh at Rico. <laughs> I had to get my A, I had to A, E, I, O, I'm trying not to laugh. For the vowels, because you got to put and with the That's right. vowel. So, I'm getting it together. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we have an interview specialist on the hotline. That's what's up, man. man. That is crazy. That's what's up. Hey, one time for Jeffrey Miller. She didn't want me to shout out, but I'm going to Man, shout out. What's well, shout out, Jeffrey? For sure. Yeah. What's up with this caller, though? Man, what's up with her? Are you ready? I just got a question, Quay. What's up, bro? Are you ready to bring on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you ready to bring on, brother? Absolutely, man. Let's do this thing. Let's bring it on, brother. Let's bring Let's it do on. this thing. Shakola. 
Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? How's it going? Yeah, hey, Shakola. Shakola. Shakola Rush in the building. How you doing, girl? <laughs> doing fine. How about y'all? All is well. Hey, look, let me be the first to say to say that I'm feeling that picture. That is so professional <laughs> now. All right. I bet she took that pic like, you know, like two or three times. Like, mm, I don't like that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, mm -mm, I don't like that one. Take it again. Let me make sure the lighting right. The lighting right. Yeah, got to get the angles. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? She like she cropped it a little bit. A little low. <laughs> What's up, oh, Cola? Good. What's up? How's it going with y'all today? Man, all is well. Be good. And well is all. Good. Same over here. Same over here. Yeah. <laughs> so look, we brought you on the Unbreakable Glass podcast because we know that you are an interview specialist so we want you to do <laughs> your right. thing and specialize in what you specialize in can she can can, can she get the mic one time there quavo all she need is one mic all she needed one mic. all right and it's on nice uh yeah oh okay come on with it well <laughs> at this time mr cola we're gonna let you take over and transform all right, all right, all right. So we're talking about landing a job, right? <laughs> yeah, so what do you think is necessary to land a job, Cola? Well, 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 that's a very interesting topic. And so if I had to give my expertise based on my opinion on how to land the job, I would definitely say two words, guys, strategic planning. Strategic now, planning. Strategic Strategic planning. Strategic planning is associated with our everyday lives, whether we realize it or not. Mm -hmm. Like when you're preparing for the next work day, you're basically engaging yourself in strategic planning. So as it relates to landing that job, I would definitely say you have to plan strategically. And I would say the first step in doing that would be to determine what it is that you are wanting to do. Now, in some cases, in some cases, some people already know what it is they want to do, but in some cases, some don't. So I would definitely recommend starting right there. Right and there. once you've determined that, once you've made that determination, you get to move on to step two. You get to go up the ladder. You get to assess your skills. You know, a lot of times when we are aiming to land a job of interest, we haven't assessed our skills fairly enough. So I would say, for instance, if I wanted to become a manager, then I need to conduct some research to determine what skills are necessary to have to be able to do that. So I want to know how compatible that my current skills are with the skills that they are requiring. That's good. So mm -hmm. that's important to assess your skills. Moving forward, I would go from there to evaluating my work experience as well as my educational background. Just on a little tilt. Just back in the day, if you look at employers and how they uh, post their requirements or specifications or qualifications, mm -hmm. they used to have that big word in there that says and. You know, you have to have that work experience and that education. But that, now, ain't that some, businesses that are and, 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 and. The what we do? <laughs> that, 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 that's that pastor word there. And, 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 Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. that and, and, and. Yeah. But they are they are they are gravitating. They are evolving. They are expanding to a more so not and but or you know. So which gives potential candidates a greater shot at landing that job. So it's like you have their work experience or their educational experiences. That's what's so up. that's something you need to evaluate when you're trying to land that job. And if you don't have education experiences or work experiences, then you need to start hmm, thinking. I need to start engaging in the community more to get their volunteer experiences under your belt. And I would definitely say as a tip, when you're engaging in volunteer experiences, hey, it may land you a job that will lead you to that job that you want. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To become a net manager. You know, sometimes it takes making baby steps to climb up the ladder to tackle that big goal that you have. Now, which leads me to, hey, next, to create your resume. I basically just created your resume for you uh -oh. by saying, determine what it is you want to do, mm -hmm. assessing your skills, mm -hmm. determining your education and work experiences, and boom, right there, you're able to create a summary of yourself that just basically built your resume. Hold on, bag, now, up, then bag up real quick. Did okay. I hear you say okay. boom right there? 
<laughs> See, boom, right there. Like, right there. Like, That's boom. It. Boom. Right there. You know what I'm saying? All that right, that mean right now. Yeah. Right now. Oh, okay. That right. means right there. That's right. You pretty much did the most important thing that helped yourself to build that resume. Again, you did what? How? By planning strategically. And as a tip, when you're going in to prepare for that job, to, to potentially interview for that job, mm-hmm. I would highly recommend it to make sure that you research that company. So many people oh, feel that you can go in. Yeah. You can go in and give a and have a good uh good interview. But yeah. guess what? Your ratings decrease when they ask you that one question, what can you tell us about this company? Or what do you know about our company? That's good. And you don't give an answer. That that's that's your ratings back. That's that your ratings all the way back. So I would highly recommend anybody to research the company. Which leads me to to prepare yourself before you even go. Ooh. Ain't that smart? Ain't that common sense? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> prepare yourself like, before you. Prepare yourself. Connect with somebody that can potentially help you with mock interviews. That mm-hmm. should give you the necessary <clears throat> questions as it pertains to that job, landing that job. That helps you to go in to be more prepared. So when you go in that room, the room is not owning you. You're owning the room. That's oh, the company, man. right? I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. I like, say, say that again. Say yeah, 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 that's a nugget right there. Why yeah. did? What that is? <laughs> so right. I would highly recommend in closing to say that when, and most importantly, if you have goals to achieve a job of your desire, don't wait to do that. Do not be a procrastinator. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of people's problem. Sometimes people, they'll see jobs go up and they trying to rush to get their resume right then and there. No, go ahead and prepare for it in advance. That way you're already prepared. Hey, that hey, all of that aligns with planning strategically, and that is how I recommend, in my opinion, you to land that job. Oh that's right, up. man, that's what's up, man. Y'all, y'all show, y'all show Miss Shakola Russian love hey, all on her. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Cola, Cola, don't hang up yet. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't okay. hang up. Don't okay. hang up yet. I, I got a question okay. though. Uh-oh, I got a question. On. You got a question. So, so you just dropped some some knowledge on us, right? You just dropped a whole lot of uh, what Rico <laughs> called nuggets. He he loved that word. <laughs> yeah, that my drop, word. Drop, a, <laughs> drop a nugget. That my, that, I know, right? That's my that's 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 my that's my word. Dude. But I'm gonna hit you with something. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with something else, Cola. So I want to know what's the crazy or what's the the craziest or what's the weirdest weird. I mean, I've been around you too long. You sure have, because I I mess some words up. Now you messing some words up. What's the craziest thing, Cola? You have witnessed uh, where there's Ooh. been. Uh, interviewing, building resumes. What, what's the craziest thing you, you've witnessed? Um, I would, um, I would say, what, can I do like the craziest question I've been asked? Yeah. Like the craziest question I've been asked. Do okay, you, I, boo-boo. Good, so, do you. Um, <laughs> all right, so I would say the most challenging question I've been asked during an interview, and sometimes when you're in that preparation stage, it's just certain things you like. When you get there, you're like, wait a minute. Now, this right here, I wasn't prepared for it. So I was asked, if I had a superpower, what would it be? And I'm like, oh, my God. That's one of those situations where you have to be ready. Mm-hmm. And so guess what? When staying ready, you ain't got to get ready, right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, so, I like that. I like that. So basically, <clears throat> when they asked me, my response to that question was, if I had a superpower, I would be sure to promote team efficiency because team efficiency promotes and maximizes revenue as well as success within the company. So you just imagine imagine having a group of people, they're not team oriented. So I want to have that superpower to make that happen. You know, so that's how I went with that question. Okay. <laughs> so check so check this out. I, I'm gonna go to the to the comments real quick. Uh, big shout out, a hey, Westbrook, Bree Mac. I see you, Vino. I see you in the building, Denny. What's up, Dub Lane, Neely Boy? I see you. All right, Jeff Coma. I see you. Coma. So, <laughs> God there, Coma. What's up, Coma? Coma at work. God there, Coma boy. Coma go. You all right? Take some heads out. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got some questions. Uh, I yeah. want to acknowledge those, Westbrook. So, Cola, he says, uh, how important is the attire that you wear to the interview? How important is that? Oh, that's very important. Very, very, very important. I would highly recommend when you go into an interview, hey, I'm not trying to tell no one how to dress, but 
if I had to say to choose a color, I would definitely go with black and white uh, from a female perspective. If you're going uh, from a male perspective, oh, I say, oh, I should say, if you're going in as a male, then I would say some nice, some nice dress pants with a nice button down or mm -hmm. a nice collar shirt. But you definitely want to look casual, you know, <clears throat> ready, ready for your interview. <laughs> I just want to know is a V-neck acceptable? Man, listen. <laughs> I'm talking about. I, I, me personally, man, hey. I'm talking about a swan V like wide. Y'all iron your clothes like too. You wear a then most definitely. Man, I iron your clothes. Don't just throw them in the drive for thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> she about to shake them pants. Right? <laughs> Flock them. <Well, laughs> hey, what noise it make? Flock them. <laughs> Hey, they ain't gonna set me as I You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey, Cola, uh, real quick. Make sure you don't go in flashy, though, okay? Yeah. No, don't be flashy. Don't be <laughs> no rule 21, Dre. <laughs> hey, uh, I got one more question. How important is it to include a cover letter um, with your resume? How important is that? Is that really yeah. important or... Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Cover letters are great. They are a great additional tool to allow you to express your interest in the job. Mm -hmm. You know, some jobs don't require them, and those that don't, I would say go ahead and do one anyway. It just shows how interested you are or eager you are, your ambitious in getting this job. And I would say as a tip to try to find that hiring manager's information so that you can email them directly so that they're going to go ahead and pull your resume. You know what I'm saying? It's just mm -hmm. all about how you do it. And again, which leads me to planning strategically. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. Okay. Cola. We appreciate <laughs> you for calling in. Yeah, thank you, Cola. Absolutely. Thank you so much. This thank is you, not bro. the last time that we're going to have you. Okay. All right? There's not. This ain't her last time. No, nah, man, we're we going we gonna, to we gonna get her back on in, in the future. I think we need to talk about that question. What that? Get her back on. Thank you so much, guys. I tell y'all what, <laughs> if y'all show some love in the comment, we'll get her back on. Hey, she, hearts and lights. If I don't get a heart and light, rush. she got that <laughs> Hey, is, one time. Hey, y'all show some love to Cola. In the yeah. comments, y'all. Y'all put them hearts and, and likes in the comments, man. Yeah. One time for Cola. Okay. The Cola Rush, everybody. Cola, we going to highlight you later on, all right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Cola. All right. Thank you for having me on. Thank you. All right. Be blessed. <laughs> Hallelujah. You too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That boy crazy right there. Boy. Hey, that's what's up, man. So, Rico, hey, you know, kind of piggybacking off that, have you, you know, have you witnessed any crazy thing as far as a resume or, 